Hello and welcome to Station News 101. Uh, today we're going to be building airlock. One of the first things you need to be able to do is build an airlock because at some point you're going to want to separate the hostile outside environment of your base from the nice cozy inside environment of your base. Now this room here is currently exposed to the outside through a big hole in the wall. So we're going to create an airlock here uh, similar to this one here which keeps that atmosphere safe from this one here. Now you need a well, you need a space to create it, of course. Now you can build it out of frames, you can build it out of walls, it doesn't really matter. I generally like to use frames because I typically have frames going just you know, separating one, one part of my base from the other part of the base. So um, that way I can build on both sides of the wall without actually interfering with the other side. So I like to build uh, something like that, except with another frame there because I didn't build enough. Hang on, technical difficulties. Right, now, as I was saying, I like to build something which is something set up like that. Now, uh, depending on where you are, I mean, you can use just flat walls. It doesn't really matter. This is just something I like to do. So that's what I do. Now, you'll need a sealed area. A one by one will generally, you'll be able to depressurize that and repressurize it the fastest. So, um, I'm impatient with a lot of things there. So, choosing the fastest way to do it is generally how I go. Uh, so, you will need, depending on which world you start on, you will start with most of the parts you need for this. Uh, you, we have Advanced airlocks or basic airlocks, we'll start with a basic airlock and see how we go. You'll need two doors, of course. It doesn't matter which doors you use. You can use doors, you can use blast doors, you can use airlock doors. It doesn't really matter. The main thing you look for is depending on what planet you are on, you check and find out a um, uh, glass door. You find the maximum pressure. So on Venus, uh, 200 kilopascals will burst as soon as you depressurize it because the outside, I think it's what, 200 and, 270? Uh, something like that. But it's fine. Uh, but so, yeah, choose them. They're a bit wider. Yep, fine. Uh, the composite door will work on Venus. Uh, it's a bit narrower, so you've got to be a bit more careful with your aim. You can use a combination of both. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you've as long as you got two of them there. Now you can build more than a one by one. It just, as I say, it just takes a bit longer. And uh, we'll need what we need to then finish the doors. Uh, so you're shipping your starter kit if you've chosen a normal start. If you've chosen a difficult start, well, yeah, that, that's your problem. Uh, you clearly don't like yourself. Uh, now, uh, we've set up our doors and we are good. Now we use a crowbar to open them when they don't have any power. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to need, well, we're going to need power to run all this sort of stuff, so I shall bring the power in from the, well, my old lighting circuit there. It doesn't matter where you get the power from, it's just, it's just got to come in somewhere because you've got to have to power it all. Now, one of the things that's not strictly required, but something I thoroughly recommend, is putting a power controller in here. Uh, so if you come back from your mining trip, whatever, and see the lights and everything have gone out and your batteries run flat and your base has run out of power and you can't open your airlock, uh, having one of these here is handy because I can then just pop that open, grab a battery out of one of my tools and everything's ready and powered again. So it's not required, but it's something I say you really, really want to consider. Um, Especially if you're on Vulcan or something like that, and opening that door might cause the entire base to explode. So, um, yeah, do that. Now, the things that you must have, you must have a controller to put your card into. So you'll need a console. Uh, power comes out that side there, so I'll just put the console below it. I shall need a sensor. I'll need a gas sensor. So the airlock, so the airlock controller knows what the pressure is in here and how to operate. Once again, I'll face the data on the same side there. I will, of course, need some vents. That's an active vent. I shall put you into there with, I can just put a passive vent on the other side. That's a passive vent. And I will need a pipe to join them together. 
they don't have to be on the ceiling it's just somewhere out of the way so I don't need to worry about it now uh, from that I just need to wire things up now oh, I'll need my card of course uh, my airlock card is there and I need a piece of glass on there to finish that one off that's uh, all the pieces I need I just need to wire them up so I shall need uh, basically everything both the power and the data connected up on the doors uh, cutters and I shall need to hook them up to you, you and you and now uh, yep we'll go up that way uh, you, you, you right we are all connected now from here I can switch this on uh, if I had power I can switch that on and it says we've got an error in the config so we need to use our data disk here to program it so we pop that in and it comes up with a sense of all the devices that can find the, the data ports for so another good reason to have this here is it now isolates all these devices from the rest of your base so you can't accidentally activate stuff on here now I want to be able to say to tell it what pieces it needs to control it uh, show we have a gas sensor there's only one that you picked it wants a vent this is a simple airlock so it only has one vent on the inside it, it has two doors we can't tell them apart now we can name them with the namer uh, or we can just guess if I say that's the exterior one we find that one has gone red the circuit board has locked that one and that means we've, I've guessed right that is the exterior one if I click the other one there that door went red it says no that one's not the exterior switch it off the other one's the exterior now it changes the exterior changes to interior to say that must be the interior door there by process of elimination well done now this flashing light down here is no longer flashing and it's gone green it's closed that door I'll close both doors uh, so I can now pull this out and it says it's working it's trying to pressurize this room with that vent which of course it can't because well it can it'll just take a very long time because there's not much pressure in the other room I can cancel that and it opens up so that is the airlock done with what needs to be there and I say that is just what needs to be there oh apart from this this doesn't need to be that this is very handy there are other things you can put in the airlock if you want uh, so if I put my disc back in there there are other things you can have in there so I can put in things like uh, warning lights I can put a warning light in there to sort of let you know when the airlock's in operation uh, so now if I oh, the light shows up there a flashing light will be my warning light um, put them away put them away pull that out now if I press the button it closes the door depressurizes and cycles with this light flashing every time the airlock is cycling um, but it's damn annoying so <laughs> I usually don't use them uh, so I mean you, you do have options there you don't have to use a flashing light generally Uh, generally I'll just grab like a regular light something like that one there and put him up it's usually that one and I can then sort of say I can yeah wrong one grab that one I can hook that one up give it a spray of red just so it's well red uh, so now say the small round light is our warning light now when I activate it I just get a red glow in here to sort of say oh, active, it's, it's cycling and it's through again red light it's not as irritating it's also not as obvious but yeah that's 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 what it is so, yeah cancel that but as a couple of quality of life things I like to put in here uh, one would be a 
a light. Um, uh, if we go with the LED, that doesn't take up much power and doesn't produce too much light. That's a nice one there. That was just a normal light, so you don't want to program that one into here. Uh, the other thing I like to do is put in a charger. Once again, not required, just something I put in here. So if I need a battery in a hurry, um, I can grab it from whatever side of the airlock happens to be open, I can just grab it. Once again, you don't need to program it into here. It's just something I like to do. Uh, so that is your basic airlock. It will only work blowing in from one side. One side's pressurized, the other side is uncontrolled. Works nicely on the moon or on Mimas or any vacuum planet. Uh, on Mars, it also is acceptable because the pressure outside is not too bad. It's, it's pretty low pressure. And it's just carbon dioxide, it's not volatile. Bit of pollutants in there, but nobody cares. For the other planets, we will use an advanced airlock. Uh, so, for that, yoink. For that, the only difference we need, um, oops, switch off all of them. Uh, yoink. For them, the only difference we need is an advanced airlock card, Oop. which I have here somewhere, advanced airlock. And we still need our glass, of course, so I better not throw that away. And we need you. Difference is I now need a vent on the outside as well, because this is a double-sided, uh, well, double, double-sided airlock. Uh, well, it, it vacuums out both sides. Call that what you like. Uh, yep. I just need a vent on the outside to let stuff out and hook you up there and we're good. Other than that, everything's the same. So once again, we have our light, which is our small round light. Not necessary, but I've got it there, so let's use it. Uh, our, now we have a gas sensor. I need to hook up that other vent. That'll make it better. There we go. Once again, I have got two doors and two active vents. It wants to know which one is the exterior. I don't know. I put, click one of them there. I can find that the controls on that one are now red. It has locked it. Yes, that is the exterior. That means the other active vent must be the interior, because I can still use that one. Once I use, activate that one, it is, should now be locked. Right. Glass door exterior was that one. Yes, it is. And the interior for the other one. Right, that one gives us a green light. We're good to go. Now, we have the extra bit on here where our external and internal pressures. Uh, we're on Mars, so I'll just set them to zero. And the inside our base, I might just set that to like 80 kilopascals. That's what pressure I'll have inside my base. I don't at the moment. Now, this is not so important on a lot of planets there, but um, well, it's not so important on Mars, I should say, but it can be important on other planets there. Where you, If you have, uh, uh, like on, on Venus, you have high pressure outside. If there's anything sitting outside the airlock and you open it when it's a vacuum in here, you'll get pelted with whatever crap's in there. So this one here, if we now want to cycle it, we switch it on. It'll close the door, it'll suck out everything from this side, put it back in that room. Once it reaches a, uh, a vacuum, it'll try and pressurize this side. I've got it set to zero, so it doesn't do anything, then opens that door. Once again, cycle it back to the inside. It will vacuum, use that vent to vacuum this out to a vacuum, and then use this vent to pressurize it. Once again, it's pressurizing very slowly. Uh, well, because there's hardly any pressure on that side. So um, I can just cancel the session and abort that. Once again, if you have a high pressure in there, all this stuff would have come blown, blowing in here and smashed me. But um, there's not much pressure in there, so that didn't happen. Uh, so that's your airlocks. Now you can, of course, just uh, finish them off with a bit of, uh, a bit of decoration. 
Oh, I like to put a flat wall on the top and a and a, uh, uh, a different floor on the bottom. Oh, and a couple of walls on there. Pretty it up, and I'll need some. Yep, rid of that. Put up some walls and some sheets for the floor, and for the roof. And I've got a really professional looking airlock there. Nice. Right, so that is a finished airlock. Not much more to it that. That is like end game stuff. You do not have to do anything more than that. That is an airlock that will always work for you. I mean, on planets like uh, Venus, you might want to put a big event in there to speed things up. On Mars, I don't need to, uh, but that's up to you. You can use any type of vent, any type of door. Uh, they will all work with your airlock controller. Anyway, that is airlocks all done. All right, so that'll do us for now. Till next time, happy building. See ya.